Hey everybody, this is Piper here and today we're going to be playing a game called SimCity 4. So I've always been a fan of strategy games, city building games, empire building games. SimCity 4 is one of the best games out there. It's kind of old, it came out in 2003, but it's still regarded as a really good strategy slash city planning game. So this video is all about mods. Um, SimCity 4 is a great game. But there's a couple of bugs in the game, a couple of things that weren't done quite right. And there's a variety of mods out there. There's a really um, diverse modding community for SimCity 4. And there's loads of really cool mods out there that you can use to enhance your cities or your game experience. So I'm going to go through some of these mods in detail. I'm also going to give you some links to the mods as well and show you how to install the mods into your game. It's very easily done and if you get a couple of really good mods it will make your cities all that better. So without further ado let's get started. This is actually the the region I'm playing at the moment. It's uh, the New York region. I'm building a couple of cities here. I'm going to build all around here and then I'm going to build the big metropolis in the centre. So we're going to go into a city I built last. It's a fairly large city and I'll show you some of the mods that I've been using in SimCity 4. So there's a variety of uh, buildings you can download that helps your city. You can download um, special ordinances that will help your city grow. Um, the best, to be honest, the best mod out there, if you're going to download one mod, you want to get a mod called NAM which is the, the number one mod in my opinion. So that stands for Network Add-on Mod. So basically, if you build a city from scratch, you don't use any mods at all. Some of your uh, sims don't actually commute to work properly. They'll take a really strange route and they'll actually have a really long commute time. So instead of taking the, the fastest route to work, they, they take the, the shortest route. Something like that and their commute time is absolutely astronomical. So you want to download Network Add-on Mod and that actually solves this problem. It also gives you a lot of good uh, features. For example, if you check out the, the roads, you get all these really cool things like pedestrian roads. Uh, you get really good connectors as well. Um, if you have trouble connecting like elevated highways to roads, there's a lot of extra things that have been created by the modding community and it's a really good tool to have so I'd probably say number one download network add-on mod if you haven't already so there's loads of other ones you can download there's another good one called uh, BSC funding mod so basically if you if you start a new city uh, you're gonna have to balance uh, the books so we have a uh, month income, month expenses. I've got more income here than expenses. But the BSC funding tool actually keeps your uh, expenses and your income stable. So basically it keeps your balance equal the whole way through. So you never run out of money. So that gives you the, the ability to basically build whatever you want without actually having to worry about money. And sometimes that's good. Um, we've all played the game um, sort of as it should be played, for example, managing your monthly income and expenses. But the BSC funding tool really gives you that freedom to build whatever you want. So if you want a big monorail going through your city, that's kind of expensive. You can build that easily. So there's other bits and bobs. Another cool one is garbage disposal. So see if you're building a large city like this. There's a lot of industry, a lot of people living here. We've got about about 13, 13 million people, no, that's the money, got about a quarter of a million people living in the city, that's a lot of waste, you need a way for that garbage to be disposed of, and there's different ways you can do that in SimCity, you can go into the garbage bit here, you can build a land landfill zone, that takes up space though, uh, and it's also fairly bad for the environment because no one wants to live uh, nearby and Obviously that creates problems. 
you can create like a recycling center, a waste to energy plant, but the mod that I'm recommending is called Garbage Disposal Sheet. And basically it takes up two tiles, you put it at the edge of your map, and instead of storing the garbage, it basically just dumps it off the side of the map. So that's a really good tool to have, solves any issues with garbage and it only takes up a couple of tiles. I've put three of them here, I don't know I don't know exactly how many you need, maybe one might be enough. Um, I'm sure one probably is enough, but I've got three anyway just to be on the safe side. That's probably another really good uh, mod to install. You can get other ones like, go through some of the, uh, the civic stuff. Instead of building like tons of really small uh, police stations, uh, in the link section I've included a couple of downloadable uh, police stations. There's a custom ploppable, there's a large police station and these are really good because instead of having to build loads of small ones you can build a massive one right in the centre and that will cover your entire city. So that saves space as well. The same goes for um, the fire stations. You can build one called the Citywide Fire Station. It's fairly cheap, it's $50, it covers your entire city and prevents all uh, small fires. So that should probably be enough for the whole city. Build one of them, one or two of them, and that will solve any fire issues that may arise. Same goes for education. I've included some uh, buildings, if I can find it. I think education is the is the exception. I couldn't find anything for that. You've got like um, large high school and large elementary school, but I think there's a couple of. Um, installable mods that actually increase education. So there's no buildings for that one but if you download all the mods in the video description I'm pretty sure there's something that increases education and basically that just is basically helping the process for you to build your city. If you just want to get into a city don't have to worry about money, education, health, you just want to build an amazing metropolis, a New York City you can download all these mods and it just like saves you any hassle with having to deal with um, health issues or education issues. So the, the health, the hospital buildings for the mods, there's a couple actually, there's a Trinity Hospital which is $100 or 100 um, sim currency. It's basically 32,000 patient capacity which is fairly huge, you build that and that'll that should be cover most of your city's needs. It's another one called St Adeline's Hospital. It's a large 60 style hospital. It's pretty cool actually. Or a giant consolidated hospital. Which costs some money, but it's patient capacity 50,000. So you build that in any city and you're gonna be pretty well sorted with your health system. So there's a couple of other mods in the video description. There's one that increases demand for all commercial. There's another one that increases demand for everything, basically. Um, I've done another one where you can actually increase the, the radius of all your, your for example, your health um, services, your fire station, your police station, your schools, it actually increases the radius so it covers a, a larger percentage of the territory. What else is there? I think there's a, there's a thing called the, the money tree. I've included a link to that as well. Basically you build a tree in the city and it gives you a ton of money. I've included that because people actually want to have it in their cities. Um, I mean the BSC funding tool is actually better than the, the tree, but the money tool is there if you want to use it. The only thing is that sometimes it does crash when you use the money tool. If you have too much money, 
it will crash the, the game and you have to start again. So I would advise go for the BSC funding tool. You just start in your city, it'll, there'll be a message at the bottom that says BSC funding tool option, you go into you activate it and that will start the mod. And the good thing about the BSC funding tool, you can actually turn it off if you want to play properly. You can turn it off later on and actually try and balance the books properly. So there's a couple of other ones, um, a couple of other mods in this list. Um, there's a couple of really cool skyscrapers like Eastern, if you've ever been to Singapore or any of the Asian um, cities. Um, there's a couple of really nice uh, skyscrapers and there's one called it's not a Asian one but it's a it's called the if I just zoom in on it so if I just click on it so it's called the Bank of Sim City Plaza. So it's quite a good uh, plopable building and um, provides you a lot of jobs and it will provide that extra incentives for the commercial part of your city. Um, I'm sure there's a couple of other mods in there that I haven't actually gone over. Um, it's quite a good um, list to have actually. Uh, there's also the official primer guide. You can download that as well. It's in a, a RAR document. So you have to unzip it first but it's quite handy to know. Um, if you're wanting to find out more about the game or how things run. So again, like I've seen before, uh, the, if you just follow the, the mod file, all the links are there. Hopefully all the links should still be active. Uh, obviously this game came out in 2003. Some of the links are pretty old, so I wouldn't be surprised if maybe a couple uh, weren't actually active anymore. But most of them should be active. And again, like I've seen before, all this is like really cool. If you're going to download one mod, download Network Add-on Mod. Um, that's still being supported. There's a, a new uh, version came out last month. Um, but definitely install these mods if you want to just build like a crazy person. Uh, it's always good just to sort of like build whatever you want and create the, the city that you want to build as opposed to the city that you have to build because of your money constraints. So hopefully this uh, hopefully this tutorial has actually helped you in regards to mod mods and which ones are good, which ones are bad, which ones are beneficial. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Um, I'll leave a, a description on where to install these mods in the video description as well. Uh, you just install them to your Basically go into your program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, SimCity 4 plugins. So again, like I said before, stay tuned for more videos, like, comment and subscribe. Hope you've enjoyed this video. This is Piper signing off.